And at the time now, obviously, like I was saying to you, I was the guy that people's parents, like, you know, they'll come and say, don't hang around that kid. Or your son's this girl, this girl, that guy, your son's this now. Now, fast forward it, 2024. I'm a guy that everyone's saying, bro, please look after my son. Mm. Please, can you look after my son? Can you please talk to my son? Can you please, you know, now man's a voice in the area. Mm -hmm. Community leader. Yeah. It's fine, like things change. Change. But obviously, if I didn't take that choice that I told you that then, I don't think I'll be here today. All right, Salaamu Alaikum. Welcome to another podcast. Today we have our brother, the cook, the, mashallah, the one playing the video show. But and shukran akhi for coming through. And D's Kitchen, start with that man. What, 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 where did the D's Kitchen come from or the DS name? Is it D's Kitchen or DS Kitchen? No, it's D's Kitchen. Okay. Name, government name starts with a D. Okay. So I just thought D's. Okay. You know? And at the time, simple. at the time, I was in my kitchen. Okay. <laughs> Keep it simple, bro. Um, no play, play with your brain cells. No. So yeah. Alhamdulillah, you know, um, uh, I started in my house, in my kitchen. Okay. Um, four years ago without a business plan. Oh, yeah. Uh, without knowing, you know, um, uh, what's going to come from it. Um, and Alhamdulillah, um, the, the growth, uh, you know, is, 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 well, is, 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 it's been amazing. Uh, you know, the road, the journey, um, Inshallah. where it is now to where it was at the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, to having nothing, to having something, um, to having no voice, to having a voice, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, uh, man, it's just, it's just a journey that I always try to tell people, just continue doing what you're doing in it. You know, it, you know, sometimes you start something that you don't, might not enjoy. But then eventually when you continue doing it, continue doing it, you know, you might feel, you know what, this is, this, I think this is the one. Mm. I think this is the one that's going to get me out of, you know, something. So well, I just enjoyed, you know, the, the, the process, you so, know. So just on that quickly, why in your house? Because a similar story that I have a, a, a good friend of mine, he's got the company called Trap Kitchen. So, so he started like that as well. And I've sat down with him and we spoke and that was, his mindset was like that. I used to be on the roads. I knew how to move money and food around. Sir, sir. I called it Trap Kitchen. Sir. I started from my house. Sir. I started making the youngsters deliver for me. Sir. And from then, once I knew it was working, that's when I invested into a shop. So for you, why did you kind of start? Oh, yeah. So, so, so with, with me, um, it was, um, I, I had no background in food. You know, I had no background in food whatsoever. Um, at the time, it was COVID, right at the beginning of COVID. And I just come back from Somalia, just come back and, you know, um, like the job that I was in before that was in the courier industry. Okay. And the courier industry was paying, like it was paying good, you know, because I kind of like worked my way out, worked my way up, then understood the business, understood that side of things, how to recruit drivers. So I had I had drivers with mine as well at the same time. So it was, that was paying enough. Alhamdulillah, it was getting really good, really good. So um, I had like, well, subhanAllah, at the time I had no plans of, definitely get into food um and at the time i just thought you know what this courier that i'm doing is bringing enough good money mm -hmm. cool like you know I, I i i work at my own time my own pace you know i don't have like with the with, with the courier industry as well like the field that i was the, the role that i was in it was like i had no one calling my phone you know i was on my own bus so it was more relaxed but then obviously that just kind of just stopped one time mm. um there was no more work left you know, um, due to the COVID, though. due to the COVID, no work, you know, and because obviously my field, I, I was more like an agency, agency within an agency. So I, I don't have like a set time. I don't have a contract. I don't have nothing. They'll call me up deep. We've got this area, this location, da, da, da. Can you go? So it was like that for like five years. So then at the time COVID come, crashed, everything gone down. No more work. Uh, so I was like, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. There's probably barakah in this, you know. No, it's probably given this. to you. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Because obviously but, you had a lot of that, all that kind of, some people got money from the government. Yeah, no, no, I, I did none no, of that, man. Me, I'm, not, I'm scared of the things, but like, I'm more like, you know what? I ain't trying to rush into that, man. I don't know where that's going to, you know, lead me to later on. Mm. So I didn't, I, 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 I had no interest in that. So, but then Alhamdulillah, um, if we go back a little bit, 2019 times, um, June, um, is the time that I decided to take my whole family to 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 Hajj. Um, I want to take my my missus uh, and my mum. So obviously that that cost you know a hefty sum. So what did I do? I said to myself, you know what? It can't. It cost that much. I think at the time it was like sixteen thousand five hundred something like that. So I was like, you know, what? no problem, no problem. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to grind. I'm going to work for it. the next six months. Take no breaks, no days off. Grind, 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 grind. 
and inshallah that will that will cover it. So I put the deposit down. Uh, once I put the deposit down, COVID come around the following year, and obviously I, I couldn't go. And the reason why I told you that bit is is because when COVID come around, I've already worked enough. Mm. So I'm already tired at the same time. I'm already, I got a little, you know, I got a little bit of change there as well at the same time. So I thought, you know, what? no problem. Let me just take a little break myself. My body's probably telling me, D, just relax, chill. So I did that. Oh, we can't do that. Us guys, we can't do that, man. We're on our feet, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to grind. Think about the next move. Mm -hmm. Think about something else. You know, so Alhamdulillah, um, at the time I, I, I see that everyone's ordering, uh, you know, people to the house, eat people eats and that, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I don't have no social media at the time. Nothing. You know, I've never spoken on camera in my life. You know, so at that point. At that point. Never. Never. You never catch me on the camera. I used to be like, what? What's he doing on the camera? All, the, all those guys, you know, like, mm. what? Me on the camera? Never. So then Alhamdulillah. Um I said, you know what? Let me try that. Let me have some of that. But I've never cooked. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing, bro? <laughs> what? This is a risky path. <laughs> what am I making? What am I making now? So, bear in mind, I've done no research. I don't know what's happening. I don't have no business plan whatsoever. I haven't written down anything. Not a single thing. Right? Not a single thing. Nothing. I just ran upstairs, excited to my missus. Yo, we're going to start cooking food. We're going to make something. Don't know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna make something. <laughs> we're, like, we're gonna make something, well, sure. you know. And um, so I went to my bridge, um, good friend of mine. Uh, sat down with him, you know, brother. You know, Nazir Finance, good brother. Nazir Numbers, good brother. Sat down with him. You know, we're just you know going through things. Even the first menu that we made, brother, we made it off of Google, mate. You know, just took one little image from Google, just wrote some little you know content on there. Da da da. Halas posted it. Our image, the first. These kitchen logo was made off of Google, mate. We just took it off of Google, da da da, boom, 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 these kitchen on it, pushed it. So then we were sitting down for time anyway. Um, like, what are we going to make it? And the, the best thing to do within business itself is always do something that you would like yourself and that you'll pay for as well. Because there's no point you create something and then you don't like it, number one. And number two, you won't pay the price. Mm. So it's always good to sit back and be like, you know what, I'll pay that price. Mm -hmm. And I'll eat that food. So that's what we did. We created a box now. Um, so we had the burgers, the mac and cheese, uh, the wings, but we went overload at that time. At that time there was more about trying to brand awareness. Okay. No one knows me. Where's his brother come from? Not a single person knows me within that social media world. So it's that I can't just come into the scene and be like, you know what, I'm taking everyone. How bro, who, who is you? You know, so I have to come in there on a business savvy, hungry. So what did I do? I, I, I gave a lot more for the price. Mm. So what did I do? I gave away. So the first menu that we had was the burger, the, the, the burger, the mac and cheese, the wings, dessert, drink, and free delivery. For like, I think about 12 pound 50 or something like that. And we were delivered everywhere at that time. So then I don't have social media. So first thing I did was just popped up, opened up a social media account. Uh, and at a time that we don't have no TikTok or Insta, none of that. So, I just concentrate and it's always good to concentrate on just one platform first. Conquer, master one thing. Mm. Get one on smash, then after the rest of them will happen in it for you. So that's what we did. We we I opened up the 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 Snapchat. Once we did that, then now it's about no one knows you, D. So what are you gonna do now? But what I done beforehand now was what I always that it happened like throughout my time as well was that I would always push out the menu before I actually start selling. There's no point. You can't just come up on a, on a Monday and be like, yep, I'm selling today. Brother, no one knows what you're doing. Mm. No one knows you. So push out the menu beforehand. So if we're, we were always cooking on, and at that time it was like the beginning, I was I quit my job as well, sorry. I didn't even bother looking for any job. I said, you know what? Leave that how it is. Forget that, I don't even need a job no more. Mm. Let me try this. So then at the beginning as well, we were doing it only once a week. Once a week. So that once a week, the rest of the six days, just trying to figure out what to do, what we're making, going to the lab, you know, check these flavors, but I didn't even know paprika, these things go together. Onion powder and all this stuff. But <laughs> I had to conquer all of this. I had to figure out what goes with what, what takes out this, put this in there, take this out. But would you say you loved food though? And I guess to eat a hundred percent. Yeah, because I would have said, I, I hear the part where you're saying about you've never done food before. 
but maybe you liked food. I love food, man. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, that's... yeah, yeah, yeah. We eat, man. Okay. I'm good. Yeah, well, I love to eat, my, you know, taste so different you're things. You're a man that knows about taste. 100%. Then. 100%. And what I like, I know everyone else will like it. Mm. 100%. And also, one, you know, you mentioned something about, okay, you being the cook, but you spoke to your family. You know, the actual cooking, was that just you or was there? Nah, at, the time, at the time, it was me, alhamdulillah. Just you on your own, yeah? Yeah, yeah alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Uh, at the time, obviously, my 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 mum, my, uh, my missus, the family, my sisters. But this thing here wasn't just, I was at the end, it ended up just being me being the face. I had a whole army behind me. Okay. A whole army, wallahi, subhanallah. After how, how, how many kind of like months or something? That, okay, so, okay, all right, let me bring back that then. So then we pushed it. We pushed the first menu out. And once we pushed the first menu out, so what I'd done beforehand, because obviously no one knows me, I said, Alhamdulillah, at the time as well, there was a few brothers that were popping on social media from different areas, subhanAllah. So I, I sent the menu that way, sent the menu to every single borough. So that person's got it, he's pushing out in his area, he's pushing it, he's pushing, he's pushing it. Everyone's pushing it. So now everyone that's seeing it on their content, everyone's picking up on it. Who's this guy? What's going on here? So they'll take it, he'll tell them to repost it. Mm -hmm. So now what's happening? That's free marketing. Everyone's pushing in their borough. Pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. So then the day you do bring it out your menu, you already got a head start. Mm, You've already got a head start. So that's what we did. So push that out for the first two weeks. Okay. Pushed it without even selling anything. And it's just you cooking on your own. Just cooking. On and your bear in mind, I ain't selling anything yet. No, but you're cooking on yeah, your I'm own. Yeah, I'm cooking myself. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't sold anything yet. We're not selling anything. We're just showing the product. Okay. My product is dead at the beginning. Let me tell you that. <laughs> no flavor. Dead. I was watching YouTube. Think I'm the guy. Think I'm the chef. Putting these flavors together. Brother, they were tight, bam, damn. <laughs> but what? I can sell it to you. I can sell it to you. I'll make you feel that that food there, once you look at it, I want some of that. <laughs> Let me get some of that. <laughs> Sir, yeah. you know, we're in the market of, you know, trying to, you know, trying to hustle it. Yeah. So You were good at sales. I was good at sales. Very good at sales. So, alhamdulillah, I did that now. Pushed the menu out. The first day we sold out. Sold out. Ridiculous amount of numbers. But, like, subhanAllah, mm. but I didn't scale the business. I didn't understand the business. I just rushed into it the deep end, just taking on everyone. We took on South Orders that we didn't even know where the postcodes were. We just thought SW something was right next to each other. Brother, we we're taking on SWEs, SWs, brother, was SubhanAllah, bro. Mm. It was, and bear in mind as well, when we did start, it was Ramadan. And Ramadan, bro, people were getting their food for suhoor. Mm. Forget our food, bro. Forget our food. Our food was out the window, bro. No one was getting it at the same time, bro. People were getting it at like one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, bro. Because why? We didn't understand the business. We didn't root at the 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 the, 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 the postcodes that we had. We didn't root it out. Mm -hmm. No one was, it was just go, mm -hmm. go with it. Just take on all the postcodes and just go. Whichever one that you feel that is the closest one to you, go to that one first. So that drivers, the drivers that were helping me at the time, they were everywhere, up and down, <laughs> up and down. But also, I don't know, know who mentioned it to us. We spoke about the, 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 these and uh, he said he started doing, because you know what it's been, it's like Caribbean food. Yeah. But, but yeah, recently, yeah, soul food. Yes. That's, that's, that's yeah. Right. yeah. So yeah. now recently somebody said he's putting a Somali spin into it. Yeah. yeah. Somebody mentioned it. I don't know who mentioned it to us. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's, 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 so true. What, what, that's true. What was the reason? Okay. Somali. Yeah. But you know what? I'm doing soul food. What, 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 like, do you know what it is? It's got nothing Somali in it. Yeah. I'm saying why not? Why, why the brand? Okay. That's all it is. What's Korean fried chicken? Yeah. What makes it Korean? Just to put, I don't know, Korean person. Probably well, just a Korean person. I said, brother, let me put Korean, Korean. in it. Right? <laughs> Khalas, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm Somali, but we need to push that. <laughs> that's Somali. No, but why didn't you start off with that? That's my point. Why at the beginning, because I didn't have no business plan. Mm. I was winging it. I was freestyling every day. Okay. What lie? I was freestyling every single weekend. When the weekend, I'm freestyling it. Freestyle. Why am I making it? I don't even know. Freestyling it. Freestyling it. Freestyling it. So I did that for the first. So, okay. So the first day, popping, mm -hmm. bagging. Like everywhere, everyone was good, whatever. The second week now, failed. Failed. In what way? In sales? Sales. Because why would I do? I changed up the menu. Okay. I played around with it. I thought, you know what? Someone played in my head. Was, I don't know what someone told me, D, not everyone's going to like that menu. You need to change it up. I was like, yeah, no problem. Because you know, at the beginning, you're a bit gassed. You feel like, you know, you need to listen to the people then. You know, you know, you know it's good mm -hmm. to hear feedback it, from the customers, isn't it? What would you like? What do you like? What's this? You know, I was asking those questions, isn't it? And people were like, bro, just, just mix it up every week. So that's what I did. I mixed up and every day it was a failure, failure, failure. Because I've never cooked these foods before, <laughs> bro. I've never cooked it before. So, and, but then what I did now at the same time as well now, while I'm cooking on the weekends, Every single day now, I'm using the days that I do have to continue popping off the social media because you don't want it to die off. So what was I doing? I was doing tray cakes. 
and we had the tray cakes buzzing. Allah Humbarik, my missus was making the, the best cakes and they were going off every single day. So I had it busy. Okay. I didn't want it to die. And I didn't want to just come on just a weekend and be like, hey, I'm here. You know, just bring out the menu. You know, that's that. My wife was also involved in this. Missus was involved as well. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure. Well, like she was putting in the work while she was heavily pregnant with my, with my third child. Mm-hmm. So she was putting in her work as well at the same time. So we did that. So Ramadan finished now. Eid day, Allah Barak. She, I remember she made she made about 130 cakes. That was the first time. Tray cakes. Mm-hmm. It took us from what? Fajr to Fajr. Sure. Literally, Fajr What's to Fajr. What's the tray cake, by the way? So you remember the little, the little, the ones that used to come in a silver tray, the cakes, the whole cake. You know, they used to be something that used to be popular, like the old school cakes, okay. like the Oreo cakes. Okay, okay. Something like that, innit? So it's not, it's not like a milk cake, no? No, no, no. no. We, we weren't doing a milk cake, but the milk, if it is, but then it's bigger then. Okay. It's the actual but, nine by nine. Big, and big you can cakes. What, add custard or something. You can add custard as well oh, okay, if you want. So okay. we were doing that. So, so oh, the school ones. So, yeah, okay, old school yeah, square yeah, sprinkles. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, sprinkles yes. We had those in it. So long body, it was doing good, very good. Mm-hmm. So then now Ramadan come, uh, Ramadan finished, Eid, sold about 130 cakes. Wallahi, I, it was a movie. I remember I did a video about the cakes were just laying around everywhere in my yard. Like it was just subhanAllah. But then after that, now I dropped. The business was just going down. Because why every week I'm changing the menu. 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 So now it's like, you know what, dude, this outfit, this is dead. This is just like, bro, I quit my job for what, bro? And I haven't changed. Like, I'm still doing once a week. I'm still just trying to figure out what menu do people like? You know, what menu is going to be that menu that's going to make or break and just push these kitchen to the next level? Mm. I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm still Sometimes trying to figure out that, that, that those mistakes. You learn from those mistakes. Yeah. And then you come up with the best product at the end. Well, so like, it's all, yeah. It took, it took some time because then bear in mind that was like, I think that was like May when, when Ramadan finished and it's like all the way to like September. It was just dead. Like it was just me just cruising around. But I said to myself, D, don't stop. Don't stop. What you're doing right now is brand awareness, bro. Don't exactly. worry. Because there's times when I was like, I'm going to, from, I'm from North Innit. So I'm going to like all the way to like Feltram size just for like one box, like, you know, like Heathrow just for one box, like 15 pounds. Like just, just, I'm like, don't worry, D, don't worry. Just brand awareness, brand awareness. Just keep pushing the brand. Mm-hmm. That's what I was doing. Just pushing the brand more than anything else. Like I was doing so much mileage. And it didn't make sense. So you were delivering yourself sometimes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. at the beginning, I was doing it myself. Okay. It was myself at the beginning. Just myself. And at the time, it was always just me and the missus. And obviously my mumsy, my sisters will help out as well at the time as well. Just to just, you know, pack up the boxes, you know. And then after that, you know, like I always say to people, it's always good to just come out of the business first. Mm. Just come out, take yourself out from it. Remove yourself. If you feel like, you know what, it's, it's getting hard, it's challenging, you know, just, you know that there's something wrong, but then because you're so involved in it, you're invested in it, you wouldn't see it. So you just have to take yourself away from it first. Take away yourself away from it. Take a little pause, relax. So what I done now, alhamdulillah, at the time as well now, uh, my, my cousin was getting married. Mm-hmm. So he was having his wedding in Germany. So we flew to Germany. Alhamdulillah, that was the best idea that I'd done. Best choice that I made. As that made me step myself away from the business, go there, you know, just think, you know, is it worth it? Think, think, think. Go back to the drawing board, think. Went there. Two days later, came back. Come back with a drawing board. Come back with a bang. Well, I've created a monster now. Mm-hmm. What did I do? We bought the Krispy Kreme in. You know, we bought the, the mac and cheese with the wings, with a drink. And on top of that, what did we do? We bought the Somali food as well. We bought the Somali food with the, with the rice, the meat, the lasagna, sukar, that means beef stew, um, with, with the shigni, a drink, free delivery. Came back with, and that, and now what did I do? I said to myself, you know what, the, what you're going to use now, before what we were doing, obviously we were sending the menu to everyone on, on my on my Snapchat. So we will get the repost. We will concentrate more on repost, 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 repost. So that way there's people that on their platform, they will see it, they will repost it, it will share it. You know, mm-hmm. it's just a domino effect, isn't it? Mm-hmm. People will see it in their borough, their area, the name will be popular, whatever, etc. So then now what I said is now do, don't do that always. Now go to the right people that have got the right, you know, the the, the, the the big noise, you know. And Allah Humbadi, there was a few brothers that helped at the time in it. Um, you know, there was a brother called Mali Joe News. Good brother. Good brother. He pushed it. And that time there, it just blew up then. Non-Muslim. Blew oh, up. He's Muslim. Muslim brother. What's his name? Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Somali I platform. Like he, I don't know about his name, but yeah, I'm saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me privately and good brother. Push some of us. Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good brother. Good brother. He pushed it. Okay, good. 
that push, that win. Mm-hmm. And alhamdulillah, you know, um, that was September times. And then what we did, we changed the business concept. Now we've got two or three more drivers now. Now we're organized. Still now. from your home? Still from my house. Organized now, organized. Now you've got the stop number, um, route number. You've got the address, you've got the postcode. You've got, you know, everyone is equipped with proper. So you're not going up and down. And now it's, it's, it's systematic. A, yeah, exactly, bro. You're not going up and down now. Mm-hmm. So Alhamdulillah, um, we had a good, 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 good run. Very good run. Um, I think you mentioned somewhere, I don't know, the context behind it, but you mentioned from the olders, does it mean olders as in friends or olders as in, let's say, you know, Somali community, or, but you said, look, you didn't get much support or you didn't, nobody showed you the ropes basically. No, no one did, man. Yeah, to do that. No, no one did, no one, no one showed, no one, no, no one showed us. Mm. Even from young age, no one showed us nothing. You have to always go out there and try yourself. Like even when I was doing whatever I was doing, um, you know, um, this business, no one showed me what to do. No one helped out. No one said, you know, do it this way or that way. Why, 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 why do you think that is the case? And, you know, I know you've got youngsters here that you're trying to show the ropes because that's important in the community. Olders help and teach, you know. So why do you think that, that was the case? In- well, I, brother, I'll be honest with you, man. I, I, well, I, I wouldn't know, man. I don't know, man. You know, some people are different in it. Some people like to keep things to themselves in it. Some people probably don't really want to help anyone or some people don't want to, they feel like if they help them, you know, they're, they're I, don't lie, I don't know, man. Some people are different in it. So that's why me, I'm trying to change in it. You know, myself, like if I go back to even like the Snapchat days when when I was trying to get reposts and stuff like that, it was hard. No one was helping no one. No one was trying to help, you know, subhanAllah. Like it was like, it's like, bro, like, you know, just a little 24 hour, you know, post that's just going to be on your socials. Like, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, or people, sometimes some people will charge like a hefty fee. Like, so you're thinking like, bro, what is this? What did you get yourself into, bro? And that's what I said to myself, D, if you ever get a platform, if you ever have a platform that's big, never charge a single soul. And I've never charged a single soul until today, bro. Never have anyone ask me whatever it is. Obviously it has to be within the means of, you know, you know, it has to be straightforward and then none of this like music and et cetera stuff in it. So, mm-hmm. you know, business wise, we help, I help everyone, everyone, anyone that reaches out to me, whether it's a conversation, whether it's a repost, I'm there, no problem. I'll help someone in it because bro, I was there at that time when I needed the most, you know, and no one did help. So I said, you know what? I got used up. Don't sure. worry, man. You lot, you lot have helped. And that's me. I don't change. You know, I, I am who I am from when I started this business till today, innit? There's That's nothing that's made change, in it, you know. Good concept, you know, it's Islamic concept, help others, let others grow. But also I wanted to ask you because, you know, you mentioned you went for Hajj with a family. Yeah, I didn't go though, man. But obviously you I went on Umrah as well. No, yeah, because, because you COVID, COVID. Oh, you didn't COVID go? Come. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So you, you, went, know, you, went, you went Umrah? I've been Umrah the last year. With family? Umrah, but no, no, myself. Myself. So yeah, 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 yeah. Myself, yeah. myself, yeah. yeah. So the point I wanted uh, to mention is like, yeah. you know what? Dean is an important part. Key, in, in very your, key. And even what you're doing with the business, it's halal. What, what made you say, look, you know, as a Muslim, fine, you know, it's going to be Hajj or Umrah, couldn't go Hajj, Umrah, but I want to keep the business halal, even about reposting. You know what? I'm not going to repost which things which are impermissible in my in my religion, my deen. What, is it, what has a deen done in terms of, you know, in your business specifically? How has it helped you? It's changed a lot, man. But like myself now, I'll be honest with you, when I started the business, I, I, it weren't really, I didn't have deen in my head. You know, if I'll be honest with you, it wasn't really, it was just, but I believed in Allah. You know, I, I prayed, you know, done the basics, but then at the same time, bro, it was, it was who I am. That's who I am. You know, I don't really like, I don't associate myself with like certain things like, you know, like the music, if I say the music, don't get me wrong. When I started, I was, I was a follower. I was a follower. Like I looked around other people's platforms and I see everyone else was doing like the music stuff behind the food. Like whenever they're taking a picture of the food or a video of the food, uh, that they're promoting, they'll push like the music behind it. But I'm like, bro, I don't even know what music's going on. Cause now this is myself from that field a long time ago and then many years ago in it. So I don't know any of that. So I was doing that at the beginning, but then I realized, subhanAllah, that's not me. That is not me. You always do something that, you know, that is you from the heart in it. And then obviously eventually at the end, like my journey now, I'm, I'm, I'm realizing that dude, this is not you. This is Allah that's helping you. Don't put yourself first, put Allah first. Allah is the one that's pushed you and helped you become who you are today. You know, you you can never say it's you, you, you. No, you can't. Mm-hmm. 
Allah is the one, the first one. Because when it goes wrong, you're begging Allah. You know, Allah, please help me. Because there was times where it was, Allah subhanAllah, it was hard. Allah has said, I'm cruising around and it's like, Bro, this is just like, bro, like, subhanAllah, it's hard. Like, I'm begging Allah, please, like, just help me. Let me get through today. Let me get through today. Let me get through today. And there was times where, subhanAllah, like, a few of my drivers, like, there's times where, like, some of them are sold out. And there's one that's got probably, like, 40 boxes left, like, 30 boxes left. And it's like, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. with 40 boxes. SubhanAllah, bro, that's like, bro, you should have been done by now. But he had a, a bad day and it's just like, it's getting worse for him. It's like, Ya Rab, please help me, man. Get me through this, please. Brother, we sold out within two hours after that, bro. MashaAllah. Done. So Allah, but I've seen things like, you know, that Allah has helped me. So I said to myself, you know what, D? Bro, you have to put your faith first. Number one, Allah first. Mm -hmm. Always, always from the beginning. Allah has helped me from day one. For me getting me out of that nine to five, putting me through this. At the time I thought it was, what is this? What's going on? Where am I going to get work from? Allah put me through something, tests. You know, Allah put, everyone goes through different tests. Allah put me through that test at the beginning. One thing I noticed, man, you know, you can be talking to anybody, thinking about the brother, and he'll be saying, Alhamdulillah. He's saying, Wallahi, you know, Islamic, yeah, yeah, that confidence of, of the Beautiful. Is very important. You might be talking to a non Muslim, but he's saying, Look, Allah, you know, Allah bless me. Wallahi, inshallah. That, that, so that's positive. But the thing I wanted to mention, you know, like, now this is a bit changed because of social media. But there was a time where if it's a particular food, it's only targeted to a particular ethnicity. Mm. Caribbean food, Caribbean people are going. Mm. Somali food, the Somalis are going, and so on. But with these now, you know what? Actually, from time, none Muslims been speaking about it. To everyone, man. You it's, it's food for everyone, man. So it's it's, yeah, it's, it's blessings, it's, 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 it's a food from everyone. Mm. So with, 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 with my cuisine now, it's like everyone can eat it, man. Everyone can enjoy it. Don't know about the donuts though. I heard about he's doing donuts, donuts with a burger. Brother, that, yeah. that, that, that one there, brother. That one there. <laughs> it's, it's, with that one, it's, it's, it's like mama. If you love it, you don't. Who said? Who was that? Somebody was talking. That's what I'm saying. Somebody was talking about these kitchens. But, Someone uh, said, what did they say the other day? They said, oh, either they went to get it and, but it's nice, but it's a heart attack or something like this. Yeah, yeah, some people, bro, there's people that get six burgers a day, bro, mm. to their face. Yeah. Mm. So it's like some people like it, some people don't, and it's not for everyone. Mm. But obviously that's why we've got other options, mm. you know. It's not just only a donut that we sell. So the Somali food, like, you know, sugar and stuff, you started that recently? No, we done that at the time when we started at the beginning, but we stopped that. You stopped it? Yeah, we stopped that. So, you know? so now what kind of food is it? Is it it's, it's just straight, just, you know, soul food, you know, some good food. Kick back, relax, you know. Yeah. For somebody's mentioned is some of the seasoning is Somali. Was some, we had a discussion with somebody. Nah, it's, like, you, know what, you know what it is? Because obviously I pushed that, you know, that whole Somali, 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 Somali thing. And okay. everyone seems like it's 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 not it's it's just it's just a brand thing. Okay, you got cigar in a burger or something. Cigar with a burger. Yeah, we had that as well. Okay. We, we had the hilly with the burger as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What 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 I sense from you though is even though obviously you're doing the D's kitchen and how it is right now, there also seems to be an entrepreneurial kind of background to it. Whether, like you said, you was working for the corner thing, but it was your own thing at the same time. Mm. Do you take it back a bit? Obviously, we're, right now we're in a conversation of your business and we'll get back to it, but take it back a bit before that. Where are you from originally? Are you born here, raised here? Like, give us a, maybe a little bit of background to understand maybe the mindset behind starting a business because not everyone can start a business bro no, do you know what I mean not. and it, most people are workers that's the truth of the matter yeah. so what's what's behind it first were you born here raised here what's your background I was well? raised here um, came here 93 times um, went to primary school secondary college uni um, obviously going back to secondary I used to sell like chocolates and stuff like that in school mm. really good at it really good at it you know put everything in bundles packs Etc. You know, distributing it in the school. You know, Alhamdulillah, we had a, a few, a few, of, a few of my friends. We used to just help each other. Just you go that side, I go this side. We clear it, you know. <laughs> okay. And uh, that with that business, I don't know why we stopped. But look, it was good. Somalis are business people, lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Mum is biased towards Somalis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he loves Somalis. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, man. No, like yeah. East Africa now. Yeah. You know, the biggest mall in Kenya. The yeah. biggest mall in Africa is in Kenya. It's, uh, owned by Somalis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Go getters, man. We're go getters. That's what it is, man. We we make something about it. Not a minute, you know. And, you know, I, I get it from my mumsy, man. My mumsy's a crafter, man. Mm. My mumsy just pushes like anything and anything, you know. And I got it from her in it. 
So what made you want to sell at that age? Because funny enough, my mom, man, you. my mom. Okay, my mom. Yeah, man. You know, it's it's, it's my mom, man. I just see my mom's there and it's just like she's just, she's just grinding, like you know, her friends. She's grinding from her, you know, what I'm saying trying to sell this, trying to sell that, you know, and and my mom's will buy this and sell it onto her neighbors or whatever. Like, well, like she'll flip, she'll flip whatever she's got, she'll flip it, she'll flip it, she'll flip it. Mm. Uh, it, it like she used to flip it to us as well. Sometimes, like she'll buy packs of like chocolates, whatever. When we're getting our little s- school money, whatever. She'll take the school money. She's showing it to us. She's selling it to us now. <laughs> now we're buying chocolates and stuff like that. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what she did, she, she's holding that for us. Mm-hmm. She's holding that for us. She's not, she's not showing us that. No, she's holding it for us. Exactly, bro. She's holding that for us. Rainy day, she might probably buy some trainers for us, whatever, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Pops, obviously, he's a go getter himself as well. So, well, like, it, it, it was. It was installed in, in me from early age, from a very awesome. early age to hustle in it. Um, and, well, like, like I said, started selling schools. Selling stuff at school, um, and then obviously I got into trouble when I was a kid, um, so I got sent back to to Somalia, like oh six what times. In Somali? Yeah, Dagal Elis. Dagal Elis. Yeah, but that was the best thing that ever happened to me. How man. long did you go back for? I went back for like eleven months. Okay. That was the best thing that happened. Primary to me, school, man. secondary. You talking about secondary? Second, uh, college, college times. Oh six about times. 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. And well, like, that was the best thing that ever happened, man. Best thing. I thought at the time it was the worst thing. You're like you know, like get back. But so long, what am I gonna go back for? I don't understand the culture, like you know. But that was the best thing that happened because that made me a savage. I come back hungry, hungry. Why? Because I see poverty, poverty. All you're surrounded by is just poverty, poverty, poverty. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of places there that are beautiful, and there's a lot of people there that are millionaires, millionaires. You know, but the majority of the place that you see is poverty. You're seeing poverty, so you're like, bro, I want to try and get my family out. I want to try and get someone out. I want to try to do something for someone. You know what I'm saying? Just try to help out someone. So then obviously I come back all seven times and um, I tried to uni stuff and, but they weren't working for me, man. Like I wasn't working at all, man. So I chose the trap. So I was in the trap for, for a very long time now. Um, probably about six years of my life. And, you know, it, it, I turned that into something, innit? You know, you know, I turned that into something. That Use that experience later on in life, yeah. <laughs> bro, I turned that into I turned that into something. Bro, it was just, I don't love, man. It was, bro, it was. Oh, you you turned it into like a big thing? Yeah, man. It was just, it was just, yeah, man. Where it was just too big that I had to run away from it at the end. That, bro. In, in which which kind of ends was that in? Bro, the, it was in my area, North, yeah. I turned into something. North, so you say, crazy, yeah, North, 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 Park. North, yeah, 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 yeah. We turned it into something crazy where it was like, you know what? I think there's, there's there's something going on here right now, but it doesn't really. You so know, mainly it doesn't or really look good, man. Mix doesn't mixed, really look good. Cool, yeah? yeah, it doesn't really look good right now. You know, something's going on, man. People don't look right nowadays, man. So I was like, you know, what? I need to keep it moving, man. I kept it moving, man. You know, and that was that was like you made a I, choice to I, leave the streets. I left, man. I said, you know what? But then at the, at, at the time, though, man, you know, it's it's something that you grinded for. You know, a lot of people don't realize, you know. Yeah, it's called a trap for a reason and you only realise at the end when you leave it. You know, at the beginning when you're just trapped, I'm trapping, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, but you're really trapped. You're really trapped and you don't know it. You know, you don't know it. No, you know what, they, they give names to it and the names are negative. Negative, If somebody was just to reflect on it, you know, just trap, that's it. Yeah. You understand? It's, it's it sounds, air, brother. When you're in it, it sounds positive. 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 You look back positive, on it, it's like, bro. what? Trapping. Brother. What? Yeah. Like, it's, it sounds so positive, but then, and that's the thing, bro. I'm in the bins. And, and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Using you're in a rubbish can, and, bro. And, and, and no, and, and, and that's the problem. No one tells you anything. <laughs> no one told you, bro. The olders are not telling you. Mm. And at the time, we had no olders, mm. but we had no guidance as well. Mm. We had no one tell us anything. Uh, obviously, we had a lot of messages around the corner. You mm. know, they were helping a lot as well. Mm. You know, but we were already gone. You know, like, but with me, Alhamdulillah, I was never. Uh, 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 I would never ever talk back to my parents till today. Mm. Mm. Never. Any time, like I could be wherever, I'd be like, yes. No one would ever sense anything from me within my community. Mm. Never. Well, what, do you, what do you think the reason I would is? I never though? dressed. Number one, I'll never dress bummy. Mm-hmm. Number two, I would never look like a hood rat. Mm. And number two, I'll look, you know, presentable. And my parents mm-hmm. never say no to them. Sure Anytime, wherever I am, yes, no problem. Yeah, ha, no problem. No problem. I won't sleep out. I'm sleeping in my house. Doesn't matter what I'm doing. I'm coming home. You know what I'm saying? I could be wherever. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. So my parents would never ever sense anything from me. The community, they'll know something dodgy, but then they'll know that oh, no, that guy's a good guy. Mm. But sometimes they'll say, stay away from him. I was that kid sometimes. I was like, but don't, don't hang around with him. He's the bad guy. He's a bad guy. 
But all I want to do is make money. I'm never a violent guy. Never. Violate my area. You never hear no stabbings. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Why? Because we regulated it. Correct regulation, bro. There's nothing, nothing happening mm-hmm. there without anyone say so. You can't be doing anything stupid if you're not getting no money there. You can't because you're just messing up my stuff. Mm. You, what, you're just going to come around, terrorize the strip and then you're going to go and do... No way. Nothing was happening there. Not a single thing. I had a clean run for six years. Clean run. Where there was no, there no was problems. A... No, no, no ends. Gang, gang, beat. None of that. Yeah. Everything was getting stopped. Mm. Yeah, you want war? No. Brother, forget that. Forget that. No problem. Yeah, he did that. Sorry, brother. Mm-hmm. Sorry, but people don't realise. Saying sorry, what? Say sorry. You're making money, bro. Yeah. What's, what's violence going to get you? I think it was a different generation because you know it was like even here that generation you could talk to the gangsters, and there's a level of respect, and it, you could contain certain things even in, you know in, in, in ghetto and in, in Lusham and so on. Mm. The only thing you know because look, your Muslim background, olders are there, you know. So what, was there a, a breakdown in let's say language? You know they're speaking in Somali. You're, no, 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 no. no. Well, we, we, look, look, do you know what it is? What, look, look. With with the area now, yeah. Obviously, while I'm a young kid, we're seeing everything, can it? But we're just seeing at the time that my area was violent, mm-hmm. violent. My area, them times, there's like see giants when I was young, bro. Everyone just looked so, kind of like giants. But then, obviously, growing up now, yeah. Now, what's happening now that my age group, we all know each other. Everyone that's from that block, that block, that block, that block. But what always happens now? There's always what does it call it? Generational beef. These wars. These wars are not something that I started, bro. This is someone from a long time ago started this stuff. That's where it always comes down to, generational. So whatever I leave is going to happen to the next one. Mm-hmm. The next ones are going to continue it. The next ones are going to continue it. So no problem. Mm-hmm. So now that everyone that my age is running their blocks now, yeah? We ain't got beef. My brother live life. My brother, there's, there's too much money to go around. You do what you're doing on your side. You do what you're doing on your side. Simple, halas. That's it. And we all know each other. We all know each other. There was no one that was sneaking anyone. No one was sneaking no one. You know, mm-hmm. there's enough money to go around for everyone. So um, we had that guy for six years. Everything regulated. Everything nice, smooth. You know, no problems. You know, no no gang wars. You know, so everything you was getting broken down. Um, I left because I said enough is enough, man. But I've been there for too long, bro. No prison? No, no, I'm clean, clean. Squeaky clean, bro. No, sure. But like I said to you at the time, when I'm... Like, subhanAllah, Allah is the best planner. Number one, 100%. Because when I see something, and I see something, Allah made me see something. Mm-hmm. SubhanAllah, Wallahi, Allah made me see something at that time now, and I see it, and I was like, yeah, but I'm out. What was that? What was that? that, you, that you, but I'm going back home, man. Okay. I'm going back home, man. <laughs> you know, right now, things don't look good. Things do not look good, how things are moving, how people are moving around. Like, you know, not, not, the, not, the, not the area boys, mm-hmm. the civilians, normal pedestrians. Okay. You know, I, I don't know if they're undies or I don't know what's going on. Like yeah, things yeah. don't look right now. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying to myself, you know what, D, before something does happen here, Allah just showed you something. So you take it, you don't. If you don't take it then, but if you do take it, then I think things are going to be positive. So I left, I went back home. Mm-hmm. So I went back home, man. I went back home for like 14 months. Said, but I ain't coming back. That's the second time you've gone now. The second time. Mm. Well, you're saying basically and you 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 felt the heat yeah, in essence. Too much something heat. Was moving around wrong. Because every block got about 40 man went in jail, 50 man went in jail. Okay. But I said, but I ain't That was come. a sign for you to say, yo, I ain't coming step back, bro. Back. Step back. I ain't coming back. Remember me, I'm a main face public figure. Like, like, you know. And at the time now, obviously, like I was saying to you, I was the guy that people's parents, like, you know, they'll come and say, don't hang around that kid. Or your son's this girl, this girl, that guy, your son's this now. Now, fast forward it, 2024. I'm a guy that everyone said, bro, please look after my son. Mm. Please, can you look after my son? Can you please talk to my son? Can you please, you know. Sure. Now man's a voice in the area. Mm-hmm. Community leader. Yeah. It's how like things change. change. But obviously, if I didn't take that choice that I told you then, I don't think I'll be here today. Mm. There's no way. So Alhamdulillah, I went back 14 months. I come back. Now the same... You know, I was like, <laughs> mm. I don't want that much. I am not going back to that life, man. No way I'm going back to that life, bro. Mm. Doing what there? No one's changing my area. No one's bringing business. No one's talking business. And that's the, that's the sad thing about it. When you're on the trap, you don't talk business. Mm. Nothing positive. Well, life's fine, like, there's nothing ever positive. It's the same thing, the same circle, the same, the same grind. Everything's the same. Every day, it's just a circle. 
every single day. It's a circle, but you feel like, because obviously you're making a bit more money. <sighs> but it's the same, like, you know, nothing's mm -hmm. changing. So Alhamdulillah, come back. And I said, you know what, I need to change. I left everything, 2020, 2020, 2014, everything. New Year's, I remember. Everything. So forget that, man, got married. So forget that. Got married now all 14 times. I never look back. Mm, Alhamdulillah. Never look back. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So as I was listening to your story, it just made sense. Obviously, I run a business as well. So when you run a business, most of the people that run businesses, there's something about them also when they was young, they had to do something. Or whether it was passed down, maybe and your dad's taught you, but no one just runs a business. Actually. So now listening to your story, obviously there's some negative parts and there's some positive parts, but one can kind of understand that for viewers, okay, that's why he can talk how he talks with confidence or, you know, the, the, the lingos you have comes from a particular background. So sometimes, and you know, we, we have the story of the, the, the companions. Umar was known to be a very bad person prior to becoming a Muslim. But once he became a Muslim and he became a sincere person, he became from being a shepherd mm. to being a Khalif. Yeah. Just yeah, like that. Just like that. So similar to your so. story now, from trapping yeah. to now being respected so. in the area, so. running the business, it's all in the hands of Allah. Akhi. So. If you just make that slight little change, Correct. Allah will run to you Correct. and make other things happen for you. 100%. Mm. And the people don't understand though, sometimes you get thrown that. Allah throws at you. 100%. Allah throws at every single person, bro. Mm. It's whether you want to wake up and take it. Mm. Take it. Allah, I take it. I went through hardship after that. What? When I got married. Allah Akbar, bro. Bro, it was the toughest journey for me because you have to remember, I come from the streets. I'm a guy that's been, I've never had a CV. I've never worked for anyone in my life. I've come from that field to me being a boss for how long to now me trying to work for someone. You know how hard that is, bro? Mm. That is the hardest thing that people don't realize. Mm. No problem, guys. It's good to say yes, sir. No problem. You can't, you know what I'm saying, try to be the boss. Ego, you have to, bro. And that's what I did at the beginning. Humility as well, isn't it? Huh? Humility, but through that humility. Yeah, yeah bro, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, man. It was hard, man. Like, man, you're there. You know what I'm saying like, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. No problem. You know, you're asking for jobs. Am I working today? Am I this or that? And it's like, bro, this is just, this is just long, man. But you know what it is? Your wife has to be strong. It's the reason you're doing it for. I'm not trying to go back. Mm. So I want to go back and While I'm married as well No way No way Jose Nah I'm not doing that mm. I am not doing that I'm not yeah. going down that road bro I think there's a couple of points To kind of catch up on Because Sometimes you have people Who are on the streets right now Big men I personally even know Maybe 35 40 actually. Some You know Doing some sentences At the moment even And in their head They can't come to What you came to Yeah I'm making money yeah, I might have respect. Yeah, I might this, 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 that. But I'm leaving it though. And then to crush your ego and work for someone for something pennies, pennies. compared to what you was making. Yeah, bro, pennies, That's bro. where a lot of people are stuck. Pennies, that bro. ego to say, you know what? Forget my name. Yeah, forget yeah. who I was. Forget any of that stuff. I'm going to be a labourer. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. be yeah, yeah. a cook. Whatever it is. Yeah. But at least there's some izza, there's some, so, there's some self-respect in this field now. 100%. A lot of people, I think, don't have that. Uh, no, they don't, bro. It's because it's hard. Some people don't want to change. Some people are scared of change. Mm. Well, that's fine. Like, when you're lost in that circle, when you're in that circle for so long, like, you don't know what change is. Mm. What is change? What? We work for someone. Minimum wage? What? We How? Mm. How? Because they've been in that field for so long. Me, like, alhamdulillah, I got out of it when it was at a time where it was like, that was the prime time as well at the same time. It yeah. was when, where, what was happening now, social media is about now. That's why no one used, to, no one knew about social media before that. The only thing we had at that time was Blackberry, bro. That mm -hmm. was the only thing that we had going. But bef after that, that's when all the social media started coming out. What happened now? Everyone's flossing now. Everyone's doing the most. Why? For image. Mm -hmm. It's an image thing now. Now it's for, you know, at that time, no one cared about that. No one was posting this, you know what I'm saying? No one was doing any of that. Mm -hmm. So obviously, when I stopped now, exactly what the brother just highlighted and exactly where he just pinpointed, I had to take away the ego, bro. I'd say, you know what, forget my name. Dash that in the bin, bro. That's not me no more. That is not me no more. I'm not that guy, bro. I don't care what I was making yesterday. Today's a new day, bro. Allah has blessed you to see another day, bro. Alhamdulillah, you never went, Joe. You didn't go through that route, bro. Alhamdulillah, Allah has showed you a route where you can say, you know what? This is for you, Allah. Please help me. Mm -hmm. Guide me. And that's what I was saying. Please, please. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm lost. I'm confused, man. I don't know this field. I don't know this life. And Allah blessed it straight away. Before my before my nikah. Before my nikah now. 
I applied for um, the easiest thing at the time. I said, you know what? You know the 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 badge, uh, security badge. Mm. So let me let me just apply for that. That's the easiest thing for me right now. I don't have a CV in it. Apparently, that takes about three months. That came within two weeks. Then after that, before my wedding, I said, you know, I don't have a job. Let me apply. Before my wedding, I've already got a job. So I look at this. Mm. Look at the blessings from Allah, bro. Mm. Allah, when you put your trust in Allah, don't put trust in yourself. Put your trust in Allah, and Allah's got you hundred percent. Sometimes you let yourself down. Allah will let you down. Yeah. Allah would not let you down at all. Mm. So that's what I did. And then what happened now? I stayed in my house. I cut out all my bridges, every single person. But for the good though, not for the bad, for the good. Mm. I'm trying to work on myself. I need to work on myself right now. Right now I'm lost. You know, I don't want to go back into that field because I know if I step outside, I know the shit does gonna drag me back in. I know that because bro, you have to remember I'm a public figure. I'm the guy, the face, I'm the area, I'm the one that started, you know, so it's like I can't do that no more. I don't, I stay in my house. I stay indoors. I never went out. Mm-hmm. I didn't though. When it's time to go out for whatever this, that, bro, I'm not on that. That's not me, man. Sorry, man. I stay at home. I kick back, work on myself. Alhamdulillah, working myself up. SubhanAllah, I left, the, I left that, that, that screen thing, went into the courier industry. Went into the courier industry. Like, I worked my way. Like, and for the last, SubhanAllah, bro. Guys, my life now, like, every stage that I've been through, for last, SubhanAllah, has been a blessing from Allah. Mm-hmm. Has been a blessing from Allah That like for me getting married Allah helping me Guiding me I found the right person She helped You know what I'm saying Things are moving Then I had my first 2015 My daughter The biggest blessing Things went Even Even better Now jobs are coming in Left, right and centre They're coming in Allah well, like, subhanAllah Now 2015 Went into the courier industry when I jumped into that field, I worked my way up. Now, because obviously I'm an agency, my thing's set pay. I don't get the contract pay. Mm-hmm. Mine's more like, you get your day rates, the 200s, the 160s, whatever. No problem, I have some of that. Let me just work my way up on that. Understood that. Then I had my second, the following year, my son, and me. Mm-hmm. Life went even more, because why now I'm having talks with the managers in the depots. Sure. Now things are moving different now. Mm-hmm. Now it's like, now you're actually in the manager's office where it's like, D, we need you. You're the guy, please bring us drivers, whatever, etc. Did that. Then having my, my, my boy, Bilal, 2021. Now he's changed. Why? Because right now I'm in the what? I'm in the ghost kitchen now. Before the shop, I'm in the ghost kitchen now. I'm calling it the ghost kitchen. <laughs> so now he's helped out. Now the, it's moving now. Things are moving. Okay. Things are moving. And I had my fourth, Yusuf. I'm in a shop. Two oh, locations. Right. Lifestyle different. Wallahi. You need to get that fifth and the sixth and the seventh. I need the seventh and the eighth. <laughs> you know, wallah. Once you put your trust in Allah, wallah, things happen for the better. I agree. A lot of people feel like, you know what, me praying is, pray, try, try. Some people, it's hard. I know it's hard, especially when you're in a trap. I know that. But just try it once. Credit to try you. Get one to you. Try get one salah. Try get two. Mm. Try get the third. Then you get the fourth. Then the fifth is already there. Then you're already out of the trap. Mm. The but that's the step, the step you to. made is the change, so, the sacrifice. Had to give up. You know, and that sacrifice was also, look, where I am now in my ego and that respect, I got to go step down, lose all of that, get the security badge, no start off something small. No problem. But if it's for the sake of Allah, because even then, you know, like it's like the Prophet ﷺ, people, some people like leaders, they respected that affair. So, the Prophet ﷺ was respected at love. Yeah, I love you know, It's a true. big difference. So, so then, okay, yeah, I was a big boss, but you know what? People nah, feared me. Yeah. And yeah, nah. it's false kind of like so, respect. It's false, yeah, yeah. Now with my halal business, yeah, yeah, what yeah. I've achieved. It's different now. It's different. Actually. It's, it's different. different. Yeah. But we went from zero followers to like having millions of views now. Like subhanAllah from having a zero account, like to having millions of views. Like it's like, you know, now wherever, wherever area I go into is it's salams everywhere. Like, you know, it's positive. Subhan- and me with the phobe, the phobe last year, before this, I wasn't really wearing the phobe. Mm. Phobe was only a Friday. You know, normal, you know, meheres, etc. You know, gatherings. But phobe, put the phobe on January the 7th when I opened my first location. I kept it on. I said to myself, Allah subhanAllah, that day is where I remember I had outfit ready. Mm-hmm. You know, you have the outfits ready. You had the outfit ready. You had the nice outfit, da, da, da. I said, nah, I don't want that. That is not me, bro. That's an image right there. Who am I going to show anything positive to? That's an image. What am I showing the young next, next generation? Mm-hmm. That we do have a location, you have to spend your money like that. What is this, bro? I put on a phone, 20 pound phone. Alhamdulillah, open my business. Hmm. Barakah from there. 
And that same form, Allah subhanAllah, the first five months, even though I could have had more forms, but then at the time, when I finish at night, quickly wash it in the morning, put it in the dry. Khalas. Put it back on. Put Humble yourself. Don't get carried away. Don't get too gassed. That's what people do. They get carried away. They get too gassed. They feel like when they make a little change, they want to do X, Y. No. Relax. Relax, guys. And I'm showing the next generation why I put the foam on for a reason. At that time there, I just put it on, but I was like, you know what, dude, you're doing this for a reason. Allah, and then at the same time, when you got this, this is a shield right here. This right here, people don't realize you can't do stupid things with the foam on. No. Subhanallah. Wallahi, you can't. So I said to myself, you know what? Exactly. So I said to myself, you know what, D, show the next generation something. You've got a platform. Use it correctly, bro. Use it correctly. Try and motivate 1%. Even if you can motivate out of the thousand, even if it's one person, that one person might be the person that will motivate the next million. You never know. You never know. So I said to myself, you know what, D, always stay positive. Stay positive. Even when you're going through hard times. Bro, I've been going through bare hard times. From like me sleeping in car parks where it was just like rough. And me sleeping in the car park is because I'm tired, fatigued. My body is shattered, shattered. I'm like, if I, I used to drive like that one night. I'm not lying, I'm shattered, I'm tired. Like the business took a toll on me. Like I don't even see my kids. I don't see anyone now. It's just like, subhanAllah, there's times where I'm sleeping in the back, in, 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 the, in the kitchen, just sleeping in the back, knocked out. I take like three hour sleeps. I lost so much weight. Just grinding, 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 grinding. And that's when I had to shop. You know, just grinding full mode. Like, you know, I'm trying to like, this is just my baby. Like I have to like treat it correctly. Cause if I treat if I, if I don't, bro, this is just gonna collapse. Mm. So I put the work in, put the work in. Like I said, while well, sleeping in car parks for like an hour, just to get a little, you know, little, little, little nap, you know, and subhanAllah I did that, you know. And for the first year of the business, the business just went, Allah, Allah, man, it just went, it took off, you know, got a, got the right team here, you know, that's helping me out, you know, with, sure. the, with the marketing. You know, LCG, you know, good brothers, you know, yeah, so yeah, well, like, like, you have to surround yourself with good people, Allah. you know, especially within the business that you do have, you know, you have to sur surround yourself with like minded people as well at the same time. And well, like, Alhamdulillah, I always say Alhamdulillah, and that's why with me, I always try to try to keep everything and I have to stay positive because well, like, there's youth that are watching. Mm. What's the point of you having millions of views where you ain't motivating no one? Mm. What's the point, bro? What are the views going to take you? I don't really care about numbers and that, you know, as long as I can just help someone. You know, me now, alhamdulillah, wallah subhanAllah, just today, wallah, I can even show you, just today I had a, a business owner, another restaurant say, thank you, D. You're the, you're the pioneer of these things, bro. The social media style, how you've changed everything. Like, to you doing what you're doing. And that's what motivates me the most as well, bro, where it's like, sometimes you might feel down, but once you hear that, you feel, mm, let's go. You've helped another person. Why, bro, mm. there's, there's, there's so many messages I get so many times, I can, it's just like, it humbles me because like when I started, I had nowhere, like I had nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know who to speak to, who's going to give me advice. But now I know if someone comes to me, I'm definitely giving you full advice. Mm. Okay, if it's a food business, my yeah. risk is already written. People don't yeah, understand you have, that. You have to be the change. Like I've a Gandhi that said that you have to be the change that you want to see in the world kind of thing. Like you want that, be that change. Be that you, change. Want, you want someone to give you advice, you be that person who gives advice. You be the change you want to see in the world because if you keep looking for someone else to be that person, it will never come. But moving forward a bit, obviously, mashallah, you moved on to the, where we was actually originally was, you didn't even get a shop, you was at your house. Yeah, was so house. from your house, you got a shop. No, I went to a ghost kitchen. Okay, you said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the ghost kitchen is, 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 is more like a unit industrial. Okay. It's a unit in it. So I, I, I was in my yard for two years. I grew the house. You know, like it was just, it was just getting too much. Mm -hmm. You know, so I said, you know what, let me get to an industrial estate where it's just a unit, you know, so so I could learn and understand instead of me going from my house to a shop where I don't know the commercial side of things. I've never used the commercial equipment in my life. So I need to go to, you know, the 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 the, the industrial estate. So I did that, you know, I bought all the equipment, et cetera. And I went into there, I was in there for 11 months, Alperton. And that, that that was more like a journey where it was just it was hard, but it was it was it was a hard lesson that I had to learn, mm. you know, because sometimes it's good to learn something the hard way in it, you know, because then it teaches you, it makes you become stronger, you know, and, and you know you make the right choices and you know it, you you kind of like you know you pick up on things. So I did that, and then the I went into the shop the following year, twenty twenty three, yeah, twenty twenty three last year. Mm, I went to the first location. So, home, home kitchen. Two years. Ghost kitchen, one year. Ghost 11 kitchen. months. Yeah, 11 and months. Then, and then the shop. The shop. Yeah. 
يا سو والله الحمد لله برو الحمد لله ذا جيرني از 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 سو واتس ات لوكينج لايك واتس ات تراجيكتوري لوكيشنز نو مان ذاتس ات تيك اوفر نو مان سوري ذا فيرست ون واز اون هولوي رود ويز ذا سكند ون ويست ويست لندن ويست ايلين او يو ويت اول ذا واي تو ويست ويست ايلين اوكي ويست ايلين از كلوز سيركلز والله الله مبارك مان يو نو ذا بيبل ذات بين هيلبينج دي اند يو نو بوشينج ذيس كيتشن فروم ذا بيجينين يو نو هاز بين ويست لندن يو نو اند اند نورث ويست I'm not saying that North and East have it, but obviously the majority of the people have come from, you know, West and, and North West have always been pushing these. South London, always. guys, what's going on with South London? South London was always good. Don't get me wrong. South London was good, but you won't really get that many orders because South is big. It's far from us. South is massive, bro. Well, life, subhanAllah. Western, South, I, I had to break up. I had to put, sometimes I had to put like three drivers in just South, just to cover South. It is just too massive. Location. I'm looking at location, Akhi. Come on. Bro, well, I'm looking as well. I'm looking. I'm looking. 100% South. I'm coming to you, though. 100%. Don't get me wrong. I love you, though, too. You know, you love help me as well. You love put the work in. <laughs> But you know, the, the other areas, I've done the most in it, okay. you know, and I, like, alhamdulillah, I put in a lot of work that's myself. That's where the money's at, bro. Yeah. <laughs> West London. Yeah, West London. the money, man. And, and that's where a lot of, you know, South my London people are hustling you. Actually, 15 pound, come on, man. Give me 10. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, like, alhamdulillah, they, they, they help me. And obviously now, it's more about just trying to get locations now. Um, and trying to push it. That's all it is, just pushing it now. Hopefully try to get East, mm. get Birmingham, get sure. money in there, you know. So, actually, is, yeah. is it more... Takeaways or is it like restaurants? Sit down. Okay, sit down. It's, it's a sit yeah, down. Sit Kick down. back with your family. There's a seat as in there. Okay. Kick back with your family. Come enjoy some good food. Come see bro. Have What's a conversation, man. Now, now that we know each other personally. Now, now we are, now he has to come now, bro. He has I'm to come now, bro. He has to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100% <laughs> you uh, have yeah. to come over as well. It's open every day. Every day, seven days, man. Seven days, both locations. Okay. Open at 11, close at 11. You know, we're, we're on Ramadan, we're open till five in the morning, mm-hmm. you know, so well, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, you know, Inshallah. like I said, man, from day one till now, position where I am, never thought that in a million years, mm. never, you know, so that's what I say sometimes. What, what, what's the, what's the, because obviously you, we've gone through a bit, but if you was to kind of, because I could say some few words that I kind of see personally, but maybe you can say in your own words where, If you was to put it all together into like a, a sentence, what is it that you think made you get to where you got? Of course, inshallah. Keep going. Make sure your wife's strong. Mm. Never give up. Mm. Don't lose hope. Mm. Put Allah first. Trust me, man. Trust me. I'm telling you that, man. Things will change. Mm. Trust me, man. A lot of people give up. They don't know what's going to happen. Innit? It's scary. Don't get me wrong. Well, like, it's scary not knowing what's going to happen tomorrow. But at the moment you continue doing something that you enjoy, me, I was loving it. I'm just there, just, you know, just, like you know just putting a video out yo we're coming out today what the, just having a conversation mm. you have to remember that conversation there you're having it with yourself at the beginning you can end up saying cancel that you know what I'm saying oh, I have to post that mm. you can delete it no one saw that mm-hmm. but if now you have a conversation and me I changed mine my concept was different from the beginning where the Snapchat days was more about trying to interact with you me and you were becoming friends mm. why because why I'm voice noting you were voice noting forget typing because mm. sometimes when you type you say it in a way but he'll read it in yeah, a different way yeah, I get that put that to the side voice note Build a conversation. So now what did I do? I never built a fan base or a customer base. I built a community. Now that community has become two millions, three millions. They've grown. Sure. It's like, you know, and that's always good. I don't feel like everyone's a customer, bro. Mm. But like now I walk down the street, I don't have to feel like he has to know me. He has to know me because I'm, no, bro. Relax. Relax, sure. man. Sure. Relax. Now what life, subhanAllah, when we do go to different boroughs, it's different. The love is real. And sometimes I feel like, subhanAllah, bro. How did it get from here to where? People are telling me in Sweden, people are telling me in, in, in America, bro. My cousin's in America now telling me, he's in Minnesota, I think he's, he's there and he's telling me, bro, like, well, shopkeeper said he knows you, bro. Like, <laughs> like, yo, like, part of the community. No, well, like, part of the community. So, like, so, it grows, man, it grows, but as long as you're positive, man. No. As long as you're positive, well, you can't be one of those guys where you're, so Allah like, say, alhamdulillah, guys, may Allah make it easy for you, so. Mm. Keep pushing, keep going, stay strong, never give up, don't lose hope. Put Allah first as well, man. And if anyone needs help as well, get your boy, man. Don't worry, man. I've got you. We're going to put his number at the bottom, and yeah. his WhatsApp and everything. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Nah, Jazakum Allah khair, man. It's been informative. And if it wasn't for time, I think there's many other topics we would have gone into. But Jazakum Allah khair, we hope that Allah blesses your business. We see it in South, East, West, North, Birmingham, Manchester, Somalia, Africa, wherever it is. Inshallah, it's good, it's good. Well, Jazakum Allah khair. Did you say Lushim? Did you say Lushim? South London, bro. Why you, you, man, wants to be Lushim, you know? (laughs) Tribalistic, (laughs) actually. Anyway, we'll catch up on the next one. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace.